So you can scissor out this extra. I like to do this on dogs for grip on matting um, and even in the house just to keep them from slipping or bringing in extra mud. So you can kind of pull up the hair, trim off a little bit at a time using a very light touch. You can separate the toes and go in between them. Four legs are straight and strong true, with strong true pasterns. So for this length, each curly grows a little bit different on this. Most of them have this little extra length on their elbow. I don't like to take it real short just because they can get the bare patches on here um, and they can get raw. So I do like to leave a lot of coat here. Some people like to take this very short thick. Again, you don't want to take this tight because the tighter you take it, the less bone it looks like your dog has. Um, for this, I fluff it up with my hand and see the little rogue curls. Um, I'll use my straights for this. Just take the tips off. Again, making sure your dog is nicely stacked. Um, some people want to pick up the leg to do this. I don't recommend doing that. I like it when they're standing. Um, and I just fluff up and take off any extra curls. Again, not taking it tight to the elbow. If you want the legs to appear straight, just taking off the little tips. Pastern should be pretty straight and not angled. So if you have a dog with maybe a little bit more angle like that, a little down in pastern, she's nice. Um, I would still leave, I don't take this very tight back here, the, the back of the, the pastern. Um, maybe just neatened it up. Um, but if you have a dog that's real straight, you can see it in front, but the rear, you could keep this a little fluffier to make it look straight. So this can, when you're trimming this, you're affecting how it makes your pastern look. Then they should be straight according to the breed standard. So for the hocks, I do comb up. This can get kind of matted down and, and kind of gross. So I will put my comb to the skin and fluff it up. So a dog, let's say you think is a little slight, needs a little bit more bone or maybe even a little bit more angulation to make the hock come out farther, you can leave this and even maybe gel it up in the ring to make it stand up. Um, I think this dog is sufficient. So I'll just neaten up the edges so it doesn't look yucky. Um, if you take this too tight, sometimes like you can make this look that she has no bone, like it flat, it looks kind of like that, where if you fluff it up just that little bit and just neaten it, it makes her look a little bit more angulated and have a little bit more bone. 